it's amazing in an institution with 14,000 students that one person makes such a classic difference, but it really is true. Henry is a great scholar, so he has given an imprint of scholarship on this university. Rare combination that a great scholar can also be a great leader and a great fiscal manager, and he's good at all of those things. And it just always amazed me for someone who had such a vast intellectual background that he was still so down to earth. He really can just get along with anyone. Like you see him interacting with us as students, you see him interacting with peers in the academic community, in the political community. You can tell that he's really committed to this university and bettering the university and that he loves this job. I think he's started the university on a course to greatness. Henry Beenan, who will be retiring this year, became the 15th president of Northwestern University in 1995, bringing with him a vision of the future that would quickly become a reality. The vision, if you can call it that, was to take a very good university and put it into the very first ranks of American institutions of higher learning. And that required strengthening its research capacities. You need facilities to do that. You need very, very strong faculty. All these things come together. There are a lot of people who believe in excellence, but Henry's one of those people who actually can execute on excellence and get people around him to believe in what's important to him. This starts with leadership and it starts with vision. But it also speaks to Henry's character. Early on in his tenure, he was willing to say something that probably a lot of people thought but perhaps weren't willing to say. We can't be good at everything. We may have to do some cuts. I think the thing that he's brought to university is that he only goes into things that he can win. So everything they do, they excel in whether it's sports, whether it's the arts, and academics, of course. And he's got the buildings to support it, he's got the right professors to support it, and the administrators. He's always found all the pieces of the puzzle to make us be a winner in whatever we do. Henry identified very early the importance of the sciences. We were told, challenge us. How are you going to make yourselves better? What do we need to do to support that? And that was a wonderful thing to hear. President Beenan's leadership helped bring unparalleled growth to the university nearly quintupling Northwestern's endowment to more than $7 billion, and inspiring alumni and friends of the university who were eager to share his vision for the future. I think it's a rare combination of passion, leadership, and ability to execute. And Henry does have this charisma thing. He would never admit that. But Henry can be a very, very charismatic person, and he knows how to build support for what's important to him. When we were searching for Arnold Weber's replacement, each candidate was asked one specific question. How do you feel about fundraising? And only one had this answer. I love it. And that was Henry. And that's contagious. From my personal experience, being a donor to the university has been an enormously satisfying process. He would say, well, we're thinking about or we'd like to do this. and. It always felt to me as though it was an invitation to be a partner in some endeavor. It's hard to get people to give money unless they're really motivated as to why. And Henry created the why, directing it to the sciences, directing it to medical research, directing it in any number of ways. I believe that that's one of Henry's biggest strengths in being able to look at this huge organization and prioritize the areas in which he feels we have a chance to excel. And it's worked. Anyone just walking on campus will see Henry's legacy. When people come to visit, they're always amazed at how gorgeous this place is. The place looks better than it has ever looked before. And a lot of that has to do with Henry Beenan. In the 15 years since he's been president, he's changed the face of both the Evanston and Chicago campuses, not only enhancing their beauty, but also adding more than 20 new buildings and upgrades. Everything from residence halls and athletic facilities to state-of-the-art classrooms and research facilities designed to strengthen Northwestern's academic programs. Medical school is probably the most transformative of all. Good deans were appointed who did good things. And you walk into those buildings now and there's a sense of mission and there's a sense of excitement. It's been an enormous change over the period of time that I've been involved. 
The cancer center became a comprehensive cancer center, which is the highest designation of a cancer center from the National Cancer Institute, and it's the only comprehensive cancer center in Illinois. Another major step in advancing the medical school was to strengthen Northwestern's existing partnerships with its surrounding hospitals. Henry's played a very significant role in helping us focus on our shared mission. If you just walk around our campus, you can see the results of the work that we've done together. It's not just the new buildings. We have over 1,600 medical faculty members on campus. We have replaced our inpatient facilities. We have built a new research facility. And probably most important, our reputation has improved during this time. You had to have a very strong set of hospital partners for the medical school to succeed. And I think over time that really has occurred. We are really tied together in a very deep and intimate way. And I think that's going to be ever more true when Children's moves downtown, which will make collaboration both for clinical care and for research vastly easier. In addition to funding new programs that built upon Northwestern's reputation as one of the most innovative research universities in the country, President Beenan and the trustees worked on strengthening and expanding its other valued schools with interdisciplinary programs like the American Music Theater Project and plans for a new music building on the Evanston campus that will create an arts green connected to the Block Museum of Art. The positives for musicians who literally and figuratively work and play together are just tremendous. Not only are we going to have state-of-the-art facilities, but also the ability to interact and collaborate with the other arts programs that are in the arts circle. Such collaborations are a hallmark of Northwestern, where the individual strengths of its 11 different schools are enhanced by working together across disciplines. It's an environment that had great appeal for Henry Beenan. I was really attracted by the complexity of Northwestern, that it had so many schools, both graduate and undergraduate. I liked the idea of presiding over medical school, law school, business school, all of which were very excellent. I liked the variety. President Beenan's great partner in all of this has been his wife, Lee. She's been a great supporter of everything that Henry has done and that the university does. And of course, she's been at the law school and has been a distinguished professor and has made outstanding contributions on her own. Lee carves out her own life. She's very active in this community. She's been vice president of Looking Glass Theater Board. She's on the Death Penalty Commission in Illinois. And I think teaching at the law school has been a lot of fun for her. I think she's found it a terrifically interesting community. It was really a great privilege to be here and to be part of this community and to watch this law school grow and become more international. It's just been a very exciting place to teach. Henry and Lee have really made a difference in the life of this university. They have really supported our arts program, our music program. The arts at Northwestern have been so strong. We go to all the theater performances, we go to music, and then we discovered Looking Glass, which was founded by nine Northwestern students, and we had a real grounding in performance studies. What was the best place in the world to study this? But our very own Northwestern University. We were also very interested in Steppenwolf, and Henry went on the Steppenwolf board, and again, the artistic director was a Northwestern product, Martha Levy, and that theater has gone to be one of the most preeminent theaters in the country. Everywhere you look, Northwestern has made an impact both locally and nationally in the arts. Our musicians perform at the CSO or at the Lyric. We have people like Anna Shapiro and Mary Zimmerman direct plays that win Tonys and Pulitzers, and I take as much pleasure and as much pride in that as I do in good research. The arts are a crucial part of what this institution is about, a crucial part of what the society is about, something that Henry cares deeply about. I would call him the quintessential Renaissance man. Henry is preeminent in his field, political science, economics, but he also has this other side where he really appreciates and cultivates the arts, music. I can't think of any other campus, especially when you think of a research university, where the arts are as recognized as they are here. In recognition of all of the Beenan's contributions, 
as well as their love of the arts, the trustees did something unprecedented, naming a school in their honor, the School of Music. We care about all our schools. You know, you think about them to some extent as all your children, you know, but to have our name associated with something that we go to a lot, care about a lot, and take so much pleasure in, it's terrific. For centuries, really, that being a name will be associated with the school. So every day, we will be striving to make sure that we continue that great reputation. Henry is absolutely committed to excellence in everything that he does. He's a good relationship builder. He is a global thinker. He's clearly an educator. But at the end of the day, uh, if you know Henry at all, you know that he is an avid Wildcat fan. Henry loves athletics, loves athletics. The first football game that I went to when he became president, he was watching every single play. I was just amazed. I've always liked sports as a player and as a spectator. But beyond that, I've thought that athletics was important, particularly to Northwestern, both for community building on campus and for Northwestern's reputation out there. So both my view about what was good for the university and my own personal predilections fused together to want to make Northwestern stronger. I got lucky. We went to the Rose Bowl a year after I started. That certainly put Northwestern on the map in terms of Chicago, because Northwestern was never thought of as a sports school. <laughs> Actually, you know, that's sadly very huge for Northwestern University. And Henry, you should totally take credit for that one. And that was just the start. President Beenan's tenure heralded an unprecedented era of athletic success during which 17 teams won Big Ten championships, including three in football, 11 straight in women's tennis, and four back-to-back -back NCAA national championships in women's lacrosse. I know that Henry as a president, but more also as probably Northwestern's number one fan has taken a lot of pride in those outcomes because he loves the teams and he loves to support them. He's there. He goes to the games. He wears the purple. He cares. He cheers. He checks the website. This is something that's important to him. And that just completely flows down from him to the coaches and to the student athletes that this is important. Yes, you're a student first, but you are also an athlete and you are a great representative of this university. And Henry has always cared about that. He's like a lot of other fans, you know, he's got his opinions on how things should be done, but I think the primary contributions are hiring the right people and providing the resources they need within the context of the Northwestern vision for intercollegiate athletics, which is do it with student athletes and do it with integrity. In short, win with honor. I think Northwestern stands for something in the Big Ten, well beyond any individual president. If you look at our sports today, we've been pretty strong across the board. And the story is always we did it with good academic standards. And I think that's an important part of the story, and it's a very important part of who we are. In fact, Northwestern's student-athlete graduation rate, 90%, is among the best in the nation. I think that is one of Henry's great legacies. Here we are, this tiny little school, the only private school in the Big Ten, and on Henry's watch, we are beating Ohio State. We are beating Michigan, we are beating Minnesota. But academically, we've been strong, and that has stayed at the top of Henry's list. It's really been fun for me for these past 14 years, going to the Rose Bowl, and our women's lacrosse team being a four-time national champion. But what's been really gratifying for me is not a singular event, as much fun as some of those things are, but I think the building of the university, the hiring of really excellent faculty, the ability to attract more and more terrific students. We want to be a magnet for the best students in the country. I think we are. In fact, not only has the number of undergraduate applications doubled during his tenure, but there's been an increase in Fulbright, Marshall, and Rhodes Scholars as well. And the caliber of students continues to rise, due in part to several scholarship funds he recently helped establish for both undergraduate and graduate students. We've garnered the resources to make sure that every student who gets admitted to Northwestern be able to come here with need-blind admission that's important to maintain a diverse place. We want to be diverse by geography, by race and ethnicity, but we also want to keep Northwestern open for students from all financial backgrounds. 
In addition to all the duties as president of a world-class institution, he has continued to teach seminars with undergraduate students in one of his areas of expertise, U.S. foreign policy. I think one of the most important things to know about President Beenan is just how incredibly easy it is to communicate with him. Because while he is this incredibly intelligent man, at the same time, he is not intimidating at all. And he just really enjoys learning and teaching. He always seemed to have a real genuine interest in students' ideas and students' concerns. And he always took our opinions seriously, even though he had far more experience in the field than we could ever accrue. And I think that when students really have the opportunity to get to know him, they come to see a whole new side of him because he wasn't always the president of a university. He was an academic and he was a policymaker. And understanding his background and his life story uh, gave me a whole new appreciation for the things he's done for the university as an administrator. Among other things, he strengthened ties with various institutions in Chicago and Illinois. We bring something special to the table as a major research and teaching institution. And at the same time, they may have holdings or collections that we can benefit from. It's a really mutually beneficial relationship. He's so knowledgeable, he's a great listener, and he's engaged in all the dialogue around the country. He's worked with legislators to change things, he's pushed for the right things for education, and he's a leader in every circle he's in. He has huge political relationships, especially in Washington, but also in Springfield, which, for an institution that wants to play a prominent role, is crucial. That, to me, has been one of the most enjoyable parts of my job. I'm a public policy person, so I like trying to influence the policy process, both on good things for Northwestern and issues which are important to the country and to higher education way beyond Northwestern. And his efforts have been recognized by the Illinois General Assembly, where he was invited to speak. Let me give you Henry Beenan. Thank you. Thank you very much. The General Assembly has helped Northwestern University construct research buildings, strengthen clinical care, provide financial aid for students from Illinois. Northwestern, in turn, has strongly believed that we owe the people of Illinois our best efforts to educate our citizens, provide health care, create jobs through research and innovation. Today, Northwestern belongs to a small set of top American universities. We've been in the news for being a pioneer in nanotechnology. We were in the news for the Medill School of Journalism and our law clinic, where we led the band on death penalty moratorium. We're doing something which I think is very important for the modern research university. We're making our contribution beyond the walls of the university into the community. Well, I think it's had a global impact. I don't think it's just in Chicago. I mean, we're taking the academic excellence and the progress and we're creating knowledge and disseminating knowledge throughout the world. Increasing Northwestern's international programs and connection is another area that President Beenan has emphasized. And he's had great success, including the opening of a new campus in Doha, Qatar. And I saw Northwestern coming to Qatar as putting a chip down on very important issues which have to do with the future of the relations of the Middle East and the West. And I hope we'll expand what we do if we can be useful both to them and to ourselves by having research relationships in Qatar with respect to medical research, with respect to alternative energy and solar energy. That will be good for the world. It's a thrill to see the recognition around the world of, oh, Northwestern, I know Northwestern University. It's a huge statement about the academic excellence of Northwestern. And that's Henry's vision and his aspirations going back 15 years, and now it's reality. When I came to Northwestern in 1995, we were doing about $150, $160 million a year in sponsored research. Today, we do almost $400 million. Some 50-odd companies came out of our research. One of the largest blockbuster drugs that's helping people with diabetic pain, neuropathic pain, epilepsy, came out of our chemistry labs. So we not only do a lot of research, but we hope we're doing good in the world with that research. There's no doubt about it that Northwestern was a great institution when he arrived and is a greater institution as he leaves it. He's put together this dynamic, powerful teaching, research, and public-facing institution and put it in a place 
where it has capabilities and the ambition to go yet higher. I was rating him on a 10 system, he hit a 10 plus. Uh, everything that we hoped for, uh, we certainly received and more. I think an enormous amount of that is due to Henry and his ability to prioritize the strengths and weaknesses of the university early on in his tenure and to set the sights for the university into the 21st century and maybe even beyond. It was a really good university when I was a student, and now it's an outstanding university. We've had vision, we've had aspirations to really make it a great university. And I'm talking about the leadership of Henry Bienen, and it's a thrill to be a part of it. My wife and I have devoted a significant part of our lives to Northwestern in the last 14 years and we're both bonded to it forever. Not only our names, obviously, in the School of Music, but emotionally, and I will be very committed to the continued success of the university.